Hello tarot lovers, this is Mervet from the Egyptian Mystic, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Today I decided to show you some of the decks, that uh, tarot decks that are not noticed, unnoticed, they are not known. <clears throat> and uh, it's a pity because these are wonderful decks and they need to be exposed and uh, known more. So I'm going to do uh, a couple of videos showing these uh, unknown decks and uh, because I want it to be exposed more and uh, just to have a look uh, about those uh, different styles and uh, decks that you it, it's possible that you haven't seen uh, before so I have here like 10 decks and uh, if you enjoyed it I will be showing more of those uh, decks and I will start with this one of my favorite decks the visionary path tarot by Lucy Delix and this is a very unique and different deck that I have not seen on any channel and uh, it's by uh, Park Street Press it's very good quality and it is a very very unique deck uh, look at this beautiful purple box and uh, this is the guidebook small guidebook but the cards are really very special and very unique. Look at those gorgeous backs. It's all uh, black and white with a wide uh, purple uh, border, which I really like. And I edged it in the same color. So I'm so proud of my edging. It made me feel uh, so connected to the deck and I like it really more. And you see the cards are very good quality thick cards and the the size as you see is large so you can see the images clearly and all the cards are black and white with this border so it's also uh, you know this purple border gave it some life so this is the full very nice artwork really very sweet and interesting and this is the magician as you see here is the magician and we see here one of those uh, serpents and here is the high priestess the artwork is so beautiful and this is the empress i want to show you the cards all one by one because uh, so that you can feel it and i got this deck from amazon maybe uh, a couple of years ago let me see when it was published let me see when it was published. It was published um, 2020. So it's not a, uh, it's a new deck. And I think you might find it in Amazon. This is the emperor. I like the hat he's wearing. And you see these symbols, shamanic symbols. This is the hierophant. The artwork is so unique and different, so it's not a clone. And that's what I liked about it. You really can uh, um, like meditate, have a look at all the small tiny details. And this is the lover's card. You see this heart. This is the chariot. And the strength card. You see the lion here. The lady is here. This is the hermit. I like the card so much. I like this hermit very much and this is the wheel of fortune all these butterflies the justice card and this is the hanged man you see here the hanged man I don't know if the camera could show you the cards clearly because it's black and white so uh, it's not so uh, recognized clearly and this is the death card and you see here Anubis the Egyptian uh, god of death he is the one who escorts the deceased uh, through the trial in Ma'at and this is the temperance card very beautiful and the devil you see here these are like keys and he's holding uh, here uh, there's something like continuity here and this is the tower beautiful image I don't know I hope you can really see it and this is the star the moon the sun and judgment the world card ace of ones the two and here is the three we see here three ones and there is like a door 
here four of wands flowers here to celebrate and these are like dolphins and a heart five of wands five wands and this is the six beautiful six of wands here is the person and he's happy the victory card and this is the seven of wands here is the lady like a lady and these are seven ones eight and the nine so I really like the artwork and this is the ten of wands very very different and unique this is the page the knight the queen holding a mirror and this is the king of wands and then the ace of cups very beautiful two of cups two persons here and this is the three of cups the four you see the the image here he's these are the four cups and he's like sitting bored and this is the five beautiful image the lady here she's sad and here are the cups so it is very very beautiful and intricate the artwork is so unique and different this is the six of cups and here you see someone playing on the sand and here are the cups this is the seven of cups <clears throat> and this is the eight here are the cups and this is the person leaving behind all those cups and this is the nine the ten the page very beautiful imagery this is the knight the queen and the king of cups the ace of swords the two of swords and she's here blindfold and this is the three the four five of cups ah uh -uh, sorry swords five of swords <clears throat> and this is the six of swords here you see like water and uh, someone is leaving and this is the seven of swords the eight the nine and ten the page the, the knight all the knights are similar this is a beautiful queen of swords I, I really like it one of my favorite cards and this is the king of swords the ace of pentacles the two and you see here the the balance very very interesting image the three of pentacles three pentacles and three working together in harmony and this is the four of pentacles the five there is an all here and this is the six of pentacles someone is giving to these two persons and the the seven the eight of cup uh, huh i'm always saying cup sorry eight of pentacles i'm really so uh, attracted to the artwork i'm 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 as if i'm seeing it for the first time i really like it and this is the ten of pentacles very beautiful uh, imagery the knight the queen and king so that is one of those unnoticed decks uh no one talks about it and i find it very very beautiful <clears throat> and that's the aim of this video to show you some of the decks that are not seen so as you see and then i have here another beautiful deck many many beautiful decks that i feel uh, it's so um, i mean i feel sorry that these decks are not uh, known enough and then let me show you this beautiful deck tarot of the four elements by aisha learner and emmy uh, erickson it's about tribal folklore earth mythology and human magic aisha learner is the one who did the inner child cards and uh, i really like her deck so much so i bought this one it came in this box i really don't like this type of boxes when they divide the cards but anyhow the box looks very nice <clears throat> the book is amazing i haven't read it because it's so new to my collection although it has been published since a very long time i think 202 205 20, 2004 so it's an old deck but i believe me i have not seen it on any channel and the book is so good you see here she talks about the four elements and the tribal art and the symbols that shape our consciousness 
the paintings of uh, the cave paintings, African art, the arts of the Americas and the Oceana, and here symbols. Uh, the, the book is so good. The magic of numbers, form, and color. Here she talks about numerology, number four, number three, the threes and fours. You see, the book is really full of information. And then uh, she will talk about the numbers, the magic of uh, colors. You see, all this is about numbers. And then uh, using the color and he, uh, the tarot. Here also she talks about the colors. Here, uh, let me show you. Uh, 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 I just saw it here. She talks about all the colors. I think it's... Uh, I think I can't find the page, but it's here in the book, the colors, and then here explanation of the cards. So the book is so nice. It's a large, hefty book. And let's have a look at those colorful cards. They are like this wide, and those are the backs representing the four elements, air, fire, water, and earth. I edged it in different colors, and I like the size the 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 wide cards they are like squarish and uh the quality is not so good it's a little bit papery but the the artwork is so different and beautiful this is the fool waving his hand like this this is the magician and the high priestess beautiful card the empress the emperor here is the priest, the lovers, chariot, the justice, and the hermit. You see, they are so colorful and pretty, and I love those colored borders. This is the wheel of fortune, strength, the shaman is the hanged man. The shaman is the hanged man, and you see, here is the image. That's his head, and here is the death card, temperance. The Devil, beautiful tower card, and a star card, lovely. This is the moon. I like also the sun card. And realization is judgment. The universe is the world card. You see how beautiful and colorful they are. And then the suit of wands, it's all in orange. This is the suit of uh, water, suit of air, and the suit of earth. So colorful. One and the two. Here is the three and four. The, it's so unique and different. And I like to have different cards with different styles, different artwork. Uh, it really makes me so happy. I have a wide range. Uh, my taste is really, um, I have a wide range of decks that I really like. This is the page, the knight, the queen and king. And then here is the ace of uh, ace of cups, the two, three, three cups, and four, the five, six, seven. I like also the seven of cups, eight, nine, and ten. The page, queen, king. Where is the knight? Where is the knight? Ah, here is the knight. Beautiful. And then ace of swords, the two. You see, the colors are so beautiful. I like the artwork. It's sketchy and it has, you know, uh, full of color and life. Here is the six, the seven of air, the eight. Look at this beautiful imagery. The nine and ten. The page. Beautiful. I like the court cards. This is the knight. The queen. Beautiful. You see, air. You see here how the wind, like she's, uh, you know, uh, talking uh, or taking, uh, making a decision. And here is the suit of earth, the three and four, five, six and seven, eight, nine and ten. Here are the court cards, the page, the knight, the beautiful queen and king. So that's the beautiful deck. It's unnoticed. Nobody talks about it, and I haven't seen it at all on any channel. So uh, I, I think this is a good chance.
to share those beautiful unnoticed decks and uh, I still have a couple of other decks that I will be showing to you to you on another video but let me show you the cards these are the backs and those are the beautiful colorful cards that's my second deck and then the third deck is this uh, beautiful deck the journey to enlightenment tarot and it's a beautiful deck by illustrated by daniela manotius forster i hope i'm pronouncing the name properly it's by watkins uh, and it comes in this beautiful box i like the box and I will show you the cards but first let's have a look at the guidebook these are the cards explanation of the cards and some spreads here <clears throat> and those cards are very pretty those are the bags it had borders white large white borders so I trimmed it and I felt much connected to it the quality is so good and I edged it in different colors it's a very beautiful colorful deck this is the full. I like this mosaic artwork, small, tiny images. And this is the magician. Here is the table. And here, that's him. You see his head like this. I don't know if you can see. That's his head. And those are the tools. And look at those stars. And the artwork is so beautiful. I am in love with this deck. This is the high priestess and the empress the emperor this is the hierophant and the lover's card here are two persons here hugging but i don't know if you could see clearly or not and this is the chariot i love the strength card and lovely hermit very beautiful hermit and this is the Wheel of Fortune, the Justice card. So this card, I feel that it's like um, a collage. And then uh, some. it was added some colors and difference. You will see, I, will recog I recognize some of the cards um, that are, you know, Rider Waite Smith. But there is additional uh, artwork on top of it, like layers of colors. So this is the Justice and this is the Hanged Man. The death card, beautiful temperance, the devil, the tower, the star card, very beautiful, the moon, the sun, judgment, and the world. The ace of wands, you see they are really very colorful. This is the ace of wands and the two, three, four of wands. This is the five. Here are the persons. And you see the competition. <clears throat> this is the six of ones. And the seven. Here you can see uh, he's here facing all those ones. This is the eight, the nine, ten, page, knight. Beautiful queen and king. I like the colors so much. I like the artwork and the the intricate, uh, tiny, tiny details that are added to the cards. This is the ace of cups and the two of cups. Three. Here are three faces. And this is the four. It's quite busy, but uh, very nice. When you look at it, you will see a lot of details. This is the five. And the six, you see these two tiny uh, children and this is the seven of cups and here are the different cups the eight of cups here he's leaving that's an the image of a person the nine and ten the page the knight beautiful queen and king here i like also the king of cups and these constellations ace of swords two the artwork is so beautiful and here is the four, the five, six, seven of swords, eight of swords and the knight 
nine of swords the ten page knight queen of swords and the king and then the ace of pentacles the two of pentacles juggling three of pentacles you see these two persons and he's drawing uh, the four of pentacles five six and seven i really like it so much the artwork is so unique and different and uh, full of details very colorful and i did many readings using this deck i'm so happy with my uh, modification i love to modify my decks and etch them these are the backs i like the the edging and a beautiful colorful deck the quality of the cards is very nice it's great for shuffling and i am in love with this beautiful deck that was the journey to enlightenment tarot that was my third deck and then i have here another deck which is so unique and different that's the elemental power tarot by melinda lee holm and it's a very good quality by kiku books and uh it's there are no people in this deck so here eliminating human figures entirely the cards in elemental power tarot present scenes based on the five elements fire water air earth and spirit that invite the reader to step in and explore the cards so the divine wisdom rohan daniel Eason's expressive illustrations hold a treasure trove of symbols that offer visual clues to the messages of the cards. The, this is a beautiful, unique, different deck. So it comes in this box, as you see. And this is the guidebook. Very nice. And the cards are so different and unique. I got this pouch for the cards. And... Here are the bags, beautiful browns, and you see here the four elements. I did not edge or trim it. I'll keep it because it's so nice. The quality is so good. This is the fool. And you see here there are uh, signs, uh, astrological signs. So this is the fool. This is the magician. You see here Mercury, the books and the tools. This is the High Priestess, very beautiful. The Empress, greenery, and here is Venus. The Emperor, you see it's so uh, organized. You feel uh, the, the discipline in this card. And you see here is uh, Mars and the checkered uh, uh, floor and the chair, empty chair. This is the Hierophant. And here we have the sign of uh, the Taurus. And here is the lovers. Two, you know, combining two different things. Here it's checkered like male uh, energy. And here we see flowers and the chairs are different. Male and female. And this is the sign of uh, Gemini. <coughs> Excuse me. The chariot. Beautiful card. And here is the... Uh, Cancer sign, the strength card, Leo, the hermit. I, I'm so in love with this deck. And this is Justice. Where is the wheel of... Yeah. No, this is... I'm sorry. This is the hermit. Ah, where is the hermit? This is the hermit. And this is the wheel of fortune. And here is... Uh, <coughs> the sign of uh, Jupiter, and this is Libra, Justice, the Death card, and Scorpio, the Hanged Man, very nice, the Temperance card, you see, you feel uh, calm when you look at this card, very nice. So it is so good that there are no figures at all, this is the Devil and Capricorn, the Tower, and Mars, and uh, Mars, this is the star card, the moon, the sun, judgment, and the world card. 
the ace of wands i like very much the colors all browns and oranges so it's a peep deck but uh, i enjoy the cards very much and peep decks really uh, gives very accurate readings this is the page the night no this is the sorry this is the page this is the knight the queen and king here is the ace of cups the two three four five six seven and eight and nine and ten here is the page of cups the knight of cups the queen and king so i really like this deck and i have not seen it at all on any channel i bought it from uh, amazon and uh, i like the cards that has no figures those are the court cards and then you see the colors and the artwork is so unique and uh, special and the color palette is really very nice page knight queen and king that is the elemental uh, uh, power tarot which is a very nice powerful deck and uh, it gives very accurate readings and the card stock let me show you how nicely it shuffles it shuffles very nicely really i love the feel of the cards in my hand very nice let's pick a card the magician wow that's so good so <laughs> that is uh, let me show you this beautiful deck which is tarot for all ages this is a very underrated deck and it's so unique uh, and very different let me show you the box quite interesting and uh, the only thing i don't like about this card is about this deck is the title it's called tarot for all ages so it is i don't know i it i wish it had another uh, name because you will see when you have a look at the cards that they are so different and very unique look at those bags the colors and i edged it in this light purple and the cards are so different and so unique the quality is very nice this is the fool this is the magician the dreamer is the high priestess and the empress very unique and different the emperor the mentor is the hierophant unity is the lovers and you see here very unique and different this is the chariot the strength card i love the hermit wheel of fortune and here justice the hang the surrender is the hanged man rebirth is the death card balance temperance greed is the devil and i like the renaming of the cards the tower beautiful star card a lovely moon card very cute sun and idea is judgment which is very nice and you look at this look at the image look at the difference and the 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 creativity this is a very creative deck and uh, at the same time it's modern it is uh, it's very unique and very underrated the world card and i like very much also the minors this is the ace the two of ones the three and four look at this card this is the five i love the five of ones her hair is like this and she's sitting alone like very nice the six the seven eight and nine I like also the Ten of Wands. Apprentice is the Page. Steward is the uh, Knight of Wands. Sage is the Queen. And Guardian of Wands is the King. So the court cards are also very nice. This is the Ace of Cups. The two, three. Very nice cards, really. Quite underrated. Five, six, and seven very simple and very creative this is the nine the ten apprentice of cups steward of cups and you see the movement of the knight the sage and the guardian of cups 
Ace of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Three, also a beautiful Four. Here is the Five, Six, and Seven. I like also the Eight of Swords. Her legs, her feet are tied. This is the Nine and Ten page. The Apprentice, the Steward, the Queen, which is the Sage and the Guardian. And then a beautiful Ace of Pentacles, the Two, Three. I like the Four, Two, and the Five. This is Six and Seven. Look at this beautiful Eight of Coins. And a lovely Nine of Pentacles. The Ten, Apprentice, Steward, Sage, and Guardian. So it's a very underrated unnoticed deck and i really find it very unique i wish as i told you i don't like the title maybe the title is what made it uh it, it's not an attractive title uh and it's really a beautiful deck look at those backs and the cards are so nice and very good quality also it shuffles great i mean the shuffling is very pleasant let me pick a card. Greed is the devil. Okay, this is a card that I don't like much. But anyhow, we got a nice magician card and now we got the greed. Uh, let me show you uh, this deck. Inside Tarot by Stanislav Reshetinkov. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing the, the name properly. This is a beautiful deck that I got from Amazon. You see it comes in this box. Uh, there was uh, a small carton here. I, I removed it. And this is the book. A good colored book. Very nice. With a lot of information. And the cards are so beautiful. Let me show you the cards. Those are the backs. They are glossy, large cards. It's gilded, very high quality. And I like the borders. All the cards have white borders and small uh, decorative border. So this is the fool and the magician, the high priestess, beautiful empress card, the emperor, the hierophant, the lovers, lovely chariot. I really like it so much. The artwork is so different and this is justice. The hermit, you see he's cloaked and this is the wheel of fortune and a beautiful strength card. The hanged man, Jesus, death, temperance, a beautiful devil card, you see. A very manipulating person. And these are all persons like this. This is the tower. The star. You see the people here. Some water. Something coming uh, like a... I don't know if it's like a boat or something. Very beautiful. The moon. The sun. Judgment. Resurrection. And the world. The white card, an extra card. And then this is the ace, the two. So it's also a pip deck, but very pleasant. The four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten. And then the court cards are at the end. Where are the court cards? Ah, yeah, at the end, there are the court cards. Okay. That's the Ace of Cups and the two, three, four. Very nice. Really, I do like it. And the quality is so good. This is the nine, ten, Ace and Swords. So it is very pleasant and different. And I don't see it at all, really. I, I don't see it. Look at this beautiful Four of Pentacles. The five, six, seven. 8, 9, and 10. This is the Page of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, 
Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, the King, King of Cups, King of Swords, and King of Pentacles. This is a beautiful uh, unnoticed deck, which is the Inside Tarot. And I got this deck last year uh, from Amazon. I buy most of my de mass market decks from Amazon. They have quite a beautiful variety of decks. And uh, I looked, I checked the cards. I saw it uh, on Amazon and I read some reviews. I decided to buy it and I'm really happy with this beautiful Insight Tarot. And then let us move on. This is a very uh, nice deck also by Barbara Moon, the Wizard Tarot, and illustrated by Mickey Jensen. And this is a very nice deck that uh, I don't see a lot. And Barbara Moon is my favorite. So this is a great deck for beginners because all Barbara Moon uh, books are amazing. She, she, you see the images are large. And the explanations are great. And this is a beautiful deck that I don't see at all. Let me show you the cards. Those are the backs. And I edged it in this uh, like salmon rose. And the quality is so nice by Llewellyn. This is the fool. The magician. Beautiful high priestess. And this is the empress. Very nice. The Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, and the Chariot, Strength, I like the Hermit also, the Wheel of Fortune, Beautiful Justice card, the Hanged Man, Death, Temperance, the Devil, and the Tower, Star, the Moon, I like judgment. Where is the sun card? Yes, the sun card. That's the sun card. And then judgment. I really like the card so much. And this is the world. Two of wands and the three. You see he's studying here. The four of wands. Beautiful five of wands. I like this card also. This is the six. Seven. Eight of wands. You see all these... Uh, once this is the nine ten page knight lovely queen of ones and the king ace of cups the two i like the artworks very much and you don't see the faces uh, a lot you see it in the background i also like the five of cups this is the six of cups uh, this is the four of cups sorry have a look at it and then the five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The artwork is so beautiful. And this is the page, the knight, beautiful queen of cups and king. Then the ace of swords. Look at this beautiful two of swords. Very nice. Three, four. This is the five. There is a story here, and then the six, seven of swords, eight, very nice, eight of swords, the ten, and here are the fourth cards, I like the queen, and then here is, are the pentacles, you see, the five of pentacles, and the six, so it has sense of humor, it's sweet, and uh, the artwork is so pleasant. The colors are nice. And it's a Rider Waite Smith easy deck to use. And uh, it's also one of those decks that I don't see at all. And I got it, I think, last year. The book is really great. So it's a, a good deck for beginners. And it is different. And then let us move on. Let me show you this beautiful deck. The Global Fusion Intuitive Tarot, written and illustrated by Wayne Rodney. 
And the title is so confusing, Global Fusion Intuitive Tarot. That maybe that's why it's not so well known. You see the book, the box is great, very nice, and the book is very nice also. By U.S. Games, I got it last year, and the cards are so unique. Those are the backs. And I edged it in this color. I'm proud of my edging. And it makes me connect to the cards. Whenever I get a new deck, I always uh, have a look at the cards and edge it. This is the, the Fool and number 22. So the cards are busy, but the artwork is so unique and different. The Magician and the High Priestess. Beautiful cards. This is the Empress. It's so uh, diverse. This is the Four, which is the Emperor. Here is the Hierophant. The Lovers, number six. And number seven, the Chariot. This is the Strength card. The Hermit. I like the Wheel of Fortune. Justice. I like also this card, the Hanged Man. The artwork is so beautiful. The Death card, Temperance, beautiful Temperance. The Devil, the Tower, the Star. The artwork is so beautiful and different, very unique. This is the Moon, Sun, Judgment, and the World. And then here is the Suit of Wands, and you see here... This is the ace, and I like also the, 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 the playing card symbol, the trifle. Here is the ace, the two. As I told you, it's a diverse deck. You will see lots of people from different places and different cultures. This is the three of ones, the four. Beautiful five, very nice. It's a busy deck, but really well thought of. This is the five, uh, this is the six, oh sorry, the seven, eight, here is nine and ten. Very different. And this is the 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 page, the knave, and here is the symbol, the knight, KT is for the knight, Q is for the queen, and K is for the king. This is the suit of uh, uh, the hearts. So you see the symbol here, and this is the ace, the two, three, four, five, and six. I like very much the imagery, and the artwork is so unique and different. This is the nine and ten, page, knight, queen, and king. I like this king. And then we have the suit of swords. This is the four. It's a little bit dark, but there are lots of details going on. I like the six of swords. Very pretty. This is the seven. I don't know if you could uh, recognize the images clearly because of the camera. I don't know. This is the eight, the nine, ten. Here are the court cards. I like the queen, the king. And then ace of pentacles. And this is the, the coin. The diamond, two, three, four, five, six. You see the cards are very pleasant and the artwork is different. I can't say that it's a clone, uh, but it is easy to use. So I think it could be also good for beginners. So it's a unique deck and the artwork is very, very pleasant. Very high quality. <clears throat> Those are the backs and dark, a little bit dark, but full of details. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> and then let me show you another deck, which is also one of those decks that I don't see. This is the Neo uh, Tarot by Jericho uh, Mandy, Mandy Berth. The artist is Argentinian. You see, it comes in this, it's like a book. This is the guidebook. And the quality is great. 
Let me show you the cards. Those are the backs. Very good quality. And I edged it in different colors because it is a very, very colorful deck. You see, uh, you will find the, the persons here. Uh, you can't recognize if it's a man or a woman. And that's what I like. It has, um, you don't feel the gender. This is the Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, Justice, and the Hanged Woman. It's feminine, but the, you don't feel that this is a lady or a man. The star, the moon, the sun, and judgment, and the world. And then here, it's a Rider Waite Smith deck. Very easy to use, but it is so colorful. And uh, I do a lot of readings using this deck. And uh, I feel it has, although it is, uh, it should be a feminine deck, but I feel it's a masculine deck. It has a lot, it gives me the feeling of masculine energy. So uh, I don't know. It's not a feminine deck in my point of view. And these are the suit of swords. Very colorful. The quality is, uh, the cards are like papery, cartoonish, uh, like uh, cartoon cards. Pap the, I mean, the, the, but they shuffle very well. It's matte. You see, very colorful and pleasant. So that is the new tarot. A Rider Waite Smith clone. And uh, a nice different deck. Very, very easy to use. And the book is really nice. And then let me show you another deck. You see the, the, the cards. I'm making a mess, but I wanted to show you the cards side by side because they are so colorful. You see all the colors. Beautiful, beautiful. That is the new tarot. And... Uh, let me make some space. Uh, yes, I have this deck, which is Tarot of the Kingdoms by Paige Ozma Ashmore. And this is a very nice deck also that I got from Amazon. You see the box is very nice. And the guidebook. Colorful images, nice explanations. And the cards are very uh, different. I bought this pouch for the cards because I see a lot of pink. Those are the bags. It has, uh, it's mud and it's like watercolors. I, I painted, uh, I, get, uh, get, uh, <laughs> I edged it in different colors. Each suit has its own color. And this is the, these are the measures. Spirit, the suit of fire suit of water the suit of air and the suit of earth so let's have a look at those beautiful cards all the cards have borders and you feel that it's watercolors and it's very nicely drawn so it's a unique deck this is the fool this is the the magician the High Priestess, the Empress, very pretty, and the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers. I like the artwork so much, very much. This is the Chariot and the Strength card, the Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, Justice. It is not a clone, and you need to have a look closely at the images. This is the hanged man, the death card. I like the, car, the, the artwork, and I like very much the borders. I love this devil card, very cute. And the tower, the star, the moon, the sun, judgment, and the world. You see? Very pretty cards, very unique and different. And here is the suit of uh, 
fire spirit the ace no this i'm sorry this is an extra card and then the universe and then here is the suit of fire this is the ace you see the phonex here this is the two of fire i love these two persons three four you see the artwork is so beautiful and so unique i was really attracted to the artwork the seven of fire the eight the nine the images are unusual it's not uh, the normal images you see from rider weight uh, uh, rider weight smith <laughs> rws so you need to contemplate and have a look closely at the cards this is the page the knight the queen of fire and the king and then we have the suit of water you see the borders are different and the colors are so pretty the ace of water and the two three lovely cards lovely artwork very dreamy and uh, very different this is the five beautiful this is the six playing here around the seven I like this card very much the eight of water it's so expressive it reminds me of the story of the little mermaid she's longing for the castle the prince in the castle it's a dreamy deck and very unique this is the nine the ten page knight queen and king and then the suit of air beautiful flowers here the borders are so unique the two three four and this is the five six seven i really i'm enjoying it while i'm uh, showing it to you the page the knight queen and king very nice a dreamy uh, it's it connects me to the inner child you feel that uh, it has a very special feeling it makes me uh, remember my childhood those cards are so beautiful this is the ace of earth beautiful borders beautiful artwork this is the four the five six seven and eight very unique cards so i'm i'm really enjoying it and uh i haven't seen this deck at all and uh, i've done uh, a video about decks with beautiful borders but uh, this video I've, I've done it before i purchased this deck so i think i'm going to do another video showing the decks that have beautiful borders because sometimes the borders, when they are not white, imposed, this is part of the artwork. It is it con it, uh, it complements the artwork and it adds to it. So that was my uh, deck, the Tarot of the Kingdoms. I still have two decks to go. This is the Sugar Skull Tarot deck by David A. Ross, and this is a very nice deck with. Rider Waite Smith deck with Mexican feel to it. This is I've seen it on one of the channels, and I that's why I decided to buy it. I liked it. It's different, and I will show you the cards. Those are the backs. You see this skull. I edged it in this bronze color, and it has borders. Uh, I saw it. I think Don Michel. She uh, trimmed it, but I'm I'm happy with the borders. This is the fool, magician, the high priestess, a very beautiful rider, Wade Smith, the empress, the emperor, the hierophant, and this is the lover's card, the chariot, strength. The artwork is so different. This is the hermit, the wheel of fortune, justice, the hanged man. This is the death card. Colors are so nice and the artwork is so impressive. It's so different. This is the tower, star, and the quality. The card stock is really very nice. 
the sun, judgment, and the world. So this is a deck which I use uh, during this time and it uh, during Halloween. And I'm going to do a video showing my Halloween decks. This is one of them. The Ace of Wands, Three of Wands, and Four. Very pleasant and very colorful. Easy to use. This is the page. <laughs> I like the knight. And the queen. The king. And then the suit of cups. Ace, the two. You see, very pleasant. And I like that each suit has uh, its own uh, color palette. I like also that eight of cups. The ten. Here is the page. Very cute. The knight. You see, dreamy. The queen and king. The swords. Four. Five. This is the six. Seven. The colors are really pretty. And this is the page. Knight. <laughs> Look at this queen and king. Then the earth. Pentacles. So it's an, a nice deck and a very a great uh, addition to my uh, collection. Very unique and very different and it has its own energy. So that was the Sugar Skull Tarot deck. And also uh, I got it from Amazon. I think, I think four years ago. I think so. So I would love to know how you see those decks. My last deck is this Harmony Tarot. A very new deck to my collection. And it's by Harmony Nice. It's by US Games. And this is the box. The guidebook. No color, no images. The cards are so beautiful and it has great quality. Those are the backs. And I have not edged it, although I might edge it. Please let me know. Look, this is the Goldie Finch, number one. This is not a RWS deck. It is different. It has its own. Uh, there is some differences. Uh, so it's not for beginners. I like this card, the Witch. It's number two. Forget Me Not. And... Very different. The divine is the hierophant. The lovers is number seven. So uh, it starts by number one, the fool, and then and so on. The lighthouse is number eight. Dawn. I told you it's different, but very, very special. Dawn and dusk. The empty cottage. The fairy ring. The ghost. The cliff. Grace, number 15. The Crow, number 16. The Well, number 17. L'Etoile is number 18. The Star. The Soleil and La Lune, number 20. The Mirror is number 21. And the Orchard is number 22. So it is different. It has its own uh, titles. All the titles are different. So um, it's not for beginners, as I told you. But I really enjoy working with it. Spring is the suit of wands, and you see the flowers here, and it's a pip deck. This is the page, the knight, the queen, and the king. And then summer, beautiful, beautiful cards, really enjoyable. And then here we have the page, the knight, the queen of summer, and the king. And then autumn. Those are the miners, the page, the knight, the queen, and king. And then the winter. Swords. Where is the page? Where is the page? Ah, this is the page. Okay. So that is my last deck, which is the Harmony Tarot. And as I told you, it's not a deck for beginners. It has its own system. But it has the most, uh, the artwork is so beautiful. And that's why I like it. I like, as I told you, different decks. 
and the are uh, the, the 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 cardstock is amazing it shuffles very well you see very nice and let's pick a card the ten of spring which is the ten of wands that was my last deck those are decks that i see uh, mass market uh, high quality they are not noticed unnoticed unknown and i am happy to share it with you i hope you enjoyed it uh, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up share subscribe to my channel thank you so much for being here and bye